Hi Aries, welcome to my channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. Hope you are doing fantastic. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life for the month of April 2024. I'm going to pull a seven card spread, see who's heading towards you around this time romantically. Whether it's a new person entering your life this month or a returning lover, or you're already currently connecting with somebody and you're just curious about how your connection will play out for the month ahead, see how they really feel about you, see if you can trust this person, or if there's any unexpected conflict between the two of you coming up where you can get some guidance on. Whichever your status is at the moment, Aries, I will try my very best to see who you're connecting to, what your story is together, and how it may potentially play out for you. All right? But first, happy birthday. I absolutely adore you guys. I hope this is going to be your best birthday season ever. Well, let's begin. Spirit, please dive into the energy of Aries today. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Who is Aries connecting to this month? What's their story? And how will it all play out? Aries is open-minded to the messages you have in store for them today, as long as what comes through is for their highest and greatest good. Aries, love, April 2024. What is their message? Two more shuffles. One. Let's rock this and deck for my birthday babies. That one wants to stay. So you got a bonus card. This card wanted to stay. Same thing happened to uh, Capricorn's recent reading. So the Four of Wands wanted to stay on the table, Aries. So the Four of Wands talks about partnerships. It talks about finding your, your tribe, finding the people that you can really, you know, count on in your life, you know, your community of people. Now, the Four of Wands can also represent marriage. It can represent finding the one that you can really marry one day if you're not already in this established relationship already. It is also your energy. Your element is attached to this, okay? So this could be telling me that a relationship is on the table for you as it wanted to stay on the table. And since it's flipped over, it may be hidden from you right now where some of you Aries may be single and you're about to meet this person this month. Or for others, there is a, you know, a possible relationship forming between you and another person, but the outcome is unknown to you. It's still being hidden. I will clarify this card. Let me get out your main spread though. All right, so the person coming towards you this month how will they feel about you in April? We have the Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands as feelings is that energy of feeling a fresh new spark with somebody. Feeling like you're connecting with someone that gives you that rush, gives you those endorphins, gives you that feeling of just ear to ear smiles, excitement, and it's usually also connected to physical attraction, feeling a lot of physical desire for another. And I'm seeing this woman standing in front of a blank art canvas indicating that she's got a new opportunity here where she can make whatever she wants out of whatever she wants. She's got the power with that paintbrush in her hands. That sun is rising in the far background indicating a new beginning, a chance to have a fresh new start. So whether this is a brand new person entering your life in April Aries and you guys are going to hit it off right off the bat and there's going to be a lot of fiery energy attached to you, could be a fellow fire sign, does not have to be, but this is the energy of Aries Leo Sag. Or it's someone that you already know and April seems to just be a chance for fresh new beginnings. Does not have to indicate an X situation, no. Maybe, you know, last month you guys were really busy with work and now this month you guys are putting more en energy into your sex life. All right, we will see. All I know is that that person is smiling, all right? Let's take a look at their intentions because intentions to me are very important. Let's take a look. The Magician, Mercury Energy, Virgo and Gemini. So with this person's intentions towards you being the Magician, they intend to create, they intend to stay positive, they intend to stay focused on what they can control and less on what they can't control, making good of what they already got, making use uh, out of all the tools that are already available for them, right? Which reminds me, you know, say you are someone who is known for having a great smile. Say you're also known for being someone charismatic, someone that is a life of the party and a great communicator. You're going to use all those tools available to manifest the relationship you desire from the person that you're having that initial spark reaction from, right? Using the tools that you have available. Magician in reverse is faking 
that you have all those tools. Faking charisma, faking confidence, faking authenticity, faking desire for the same things as their person. Manipulation, being a chameleon in order to get what you want and then three months into the relationship the mask comes off and all of a sudden you find out that the person that you've been dating for three months is not the person that they sold you on. So if the magician has intentions and it's in the upright position, whoever this person is, they are who they say that they are based off of what I see here. And with the magician being ruled by planet Mercury, which is the, the planet of thoughts, communication, journaling, you know, things like that. You've got someone that has you on their mind in April and they're wanting to create something with you. Okay. So far, I like this energy. So far, I like it. Just keep in mind, though, that um, April 1st begins Mercury retrograde, and it goes into that until April 25th, okay, which could have some effects on misunderstandings and things like that. But so far, this looks good. Um, so this could very well be someone that is trying to create this Four of Wands with you, okay? Let's continue. Let's see how they're behaving this month, whether with you or in general. The Chariot, Major Arcana for Cancer. Now the Chariot is all about being confident. It's all about keeping it moving, not staying stuck in the rear view mirror, not just letting anything let you stay, stay stagnant too long. It's also two Major Arcanas coming out back to back, which is strong life force energy. Whenever I see repeated Major Arcanas, it indicates that somebody is here for a pivotal reason, for a reason that you'll possibly understand as the time comes on for you to understand it. But it's telling me that something big has to happen. Something big is happening around the two of you guys' connection. All right. Um, for some, there could be travel involved, whether this person wants to travel to see you, if they live at a distance, or if you guys live close by, they want to go out for drives with you, go driving around the town, going driving to have dinner, you know, really being in that vessel together. Okay, and I'm looking at this person and he looks so confident in his own skin. He doesn't care that there's people in the far background, those NPCs that are wondering why he's so carefree, you know, thinking that there's something else going on when he's just worrying about himself, very self-aware. So whoever this person is, Aries, they're very self-aware and they're very, you know, they are someone that doesn't care about what other people think, which is something that really is attractive to an Aries. Because you guys don't give a shit about what people think about you. And I love that about you. I admire that. You know, you guys don't care what other people think. As long as you're doing you and being, you know, authentic, you're happy. And it feels like this person that you're attracting has got that same vibration, like attracts like, you know. Pri primary law of attraction is vibration. So let's take a look at how you will feel about this person in April. Watch, I find out you don't even like them. How does Aries feel? Page of Wands, Aries energy, you're excited. The Page of Wands as your feelings in April tells me that you're giddy to hear from this person. You're excited, there's a spark. Now pages to me are developed and uh, early development energy which could indicate that this is someone brand new in your life where the connection is too new for it to be fully developed, not yet at a mature energy like a king of wands. All right, it's in its early stages of being generated. All right, and if this is someone that you've already known for a while, you guys are probably regenerating the connection. You know, we are in a time right now in April of things resurrecting. You know, so if you and another person did have some complications, you guys are releasing, you surrendered all that pain in Pisces season with that hanged man energy. And now in Aries season, you know, you guys are releasing to regenerate something different. Clean slate. That's only for some of you, if you already know this person. Um, but I'm strongly getting a lot of new energy, to be honest. It, you feel peppy. I absolutely love the Page of Wands because the Page of Wands is that energy of feeling like a little kid again, feeling like a little school girl or a little school boy who's racing to their phone to see their crush has messaged them. All right, having that, that excitement for that next message. This, this is what it feels like for me in this reading today, okay? Um, let's take a look at some of the blockages or challenges you may encounter this month. The Fool, major for Aries. So with the Fool being your blockage, 
This is the fear of taking chances. This is the fear of taking leaps. This is the fear of stepping out of your comfort zone and just saying, F it, I'm gonna do it, right? And to be honest, airy season is the new year, okay? It's the new year. So with the fool being in the challenge, someone here may be stuck to an old year, an old experience, an old cycle, because in order for the fool to show up, the world card had to come before it because the world card indicates a chapter closing in order for a new one to begin. And with the fool and the challenge, I read it reverse, which is telling me that someone here might still be releasing an old cycle, okay? Still being attached to an old story. Didn't fully release it during Pisces season. Whether that's together or individual, this is your energy. So it may not have anything to do with anybody else but yourself. You know, are you still holding on to old ideologies of yourself? Are you holding on to insecurities that other people put on you that weren't your own? Are you still trying to live for other people? I mean, you guys usually don't give a crap, but if there's people you care about, you might make exceptions. Um, I see a lot of good things happening for you, Aries, okay? Especially with it being your solar return. I'm so happy for you. All right, potential outcome in April. The Page of Cups. Connection goes from passionate to now being emotions involved. So if this is someone brand new for you, Aries, it's going from physical attraction, that, that normal initial spark of interest, to now we have feelings for each other. What are we gonna do with these feelings? So if say you guys meet each other on April 1st or the first two weeks of April, it's natural to base your connection off of physical chemistry, um, just looking at each other, just enjoying each other's company. And then the last two weeks of April turning into, I've got feelings for you. I'm starting to fall for you. It's, it's a baby step, it's a crush. It's the, that heart chakra opening up. Okay, now for the Aries that already have love for this person stepping into April and vice versa for your person, the Page of Cups can also indicate, you know, someone just wanting to like take a fresh new perspective on things, coming in optimistic, coming in hopeful, coming in, you know, with a fresh, you know, sense of what could happen if both parties are in the right mindset. Okay, and something from the last chapter officially closes so a new one can open. Let's take a look at your advice. The Seven of Pentacles, Moon and Taurus. So with the Seven of Pentacles being your advice, they definitely want you to take stock of your love life this month and really evaluate it and ask yourself, are you getting the same in that you're putting out? Is this person meeting your needs? Is this person just someone to like connect with, but maybe not the person that you can honestly see yourself being married to and living a relationship with? Or is this someone a waste of your time? You know, Seven of Pentacles is a very important energy. It, it, it's planting seeds that are going to grow for the next nine year cycle. What you plant in April is what determines your life going forward, Aries. So look at the seeds that you're planting and ask yourself, do you really want what's gonna grow out of it, right? You know, a lot of people during Aries season really need to think about the next 12 months. Since Aries season is officially the new year, um, this season defines what our next 11 months are gonna be. You know, Taurus season, Gemini season, Cancer season, what we do this month. So if we're doing the same thing over and over again that we were supposed to clear out during Pisces season, we were supposed to let go of, then what we were dealing with last year that maybe we weren't happy with is going to happen again this year. So if we don't want a repeat of last year, we gotta do things differently, let go, surrender, let go and let God, you know, put judgment aside and not adopt the same behaviors and patterns that God does nothing, all right? So that we can make sure that the, the next 11 to 12 months is going to be amazing, all right? But if your last 12 months was great and you still like that, fine. But if you are wanting to step out of that and have even more adventures, definitely plant seeds that are really gonna bring you what you're looking for, okay? That's what I'm getting. What's the overall energy? The Four of Pentacles. Now the Four of Pentacles talks about playing it safe, staying in your comfort zone, staying where you know you're not gonna get hurt, all right? Protecting yourself, always having that backup plan, which is great, which is great, no, no, nothing against that. But with you being an Aries, 
don't play it too safe. All right, go with what your sacral is telling you to do. That's your main staple. The Ace of Wands is your main staple. Um, also, just trust, trust your intuition. Use your discernment. Always use discernment. Always use discernment. Don't make a decision off of a freaking tarot reading. Don't make a decision off of what your friends say, coworkers say. It has to be what Aries feels is the right thing for Aries. Don't worry about other people. Okay, so I'm going to start clarifying. Let's start with your person's feelings for you. And then I'll jump into that Four of Wands card that wanted to come out during the pre-shuffle. That wanted to stay on the table. Like an offer is on the table, but it's not being looked at yet. Well, Knight of Swords, Seven of Wands, Magician, Sun. So the Knight of Swords, which is Gemini energy, is all about making decisions and not taking too long to make these decisions. Knowing what you want and acting fast. The Knight of Swords is the fastest knight out of all four knights. You would think the Knight of Wands was faster because of all that fiery energy, but no, the Knight of Swords moves fast. So it's the energy of having a huge like spark with you and all of a sudden you guys are chatting nonstop or making plans and following through with plans nonstop. All right, could be an air sign. Actually, I got, don't worry about the zodiac signs. We all have everything in our health system. Why the Ace of Wands, Knight of Swords? Ace of Wands, Hanged Man, Ace of Cups. So with the Ace of Wands coming out again, that's definitely a confirmation that sparks are flying big time. Someone's happy that they're engaging with you, they're flirting with you. You are like a cup of iced coffee in the morning without the iced coffee Aries. You know, that internal caffeine boost you get when you're around someone that you find really attractive or you just enjoy their personality. You just enjoy how you feel when you're around them and they make, you know, they make effort. So with the repeating aces now coming in, I do feel like something is showing up as an opportunity, but both parties have to take it. You know, when we say opportunities, <clears throat> there is an, a vibration of a new beginning for two people. But if one person takes it and the other person avoids it, that's a missed opportunity, even if one person did take it. Unrequited, someone didn't want it enough, someone didn't feel ready for it, whatever the case may be, all right? It's, it, it's something where you both have to take action. It can't just be, you have, an, you have an opportunity with new person, Aries, and then that's it. And then come back at me in friggin' May and say, my opportunity didn't you know, happen, Badison. Well, did you both take it? Or it was only one person nurturing the opportunity. It's gotta take work. Why the Page of Wands? Why the Page of Wands? As Aries is feelings. Six of Pentacles and the Strength card. A lot of fire coming through. So with the Page of Wands to the Strength card to the Six of Pentacles, you're holding back a little bit of something something in the hopes of seeing whether this is going to be reciprocal before you dive even deeper, which is smart, which is really smart. For some of you, this could be someone that you have worked together with or you network with or have collaborated with Three of Pentacles. Um, I definitely feel like this is someone that you feel like you gotta just read the room a little bit on because maybe they're very unpredictable where you don't really know what they're they're up to. They might have a lot of fire and air in their chart. Like I'm getting a lot of Sagittarius energy, Gemini energy, Aries and Leo in this reading. Um, Taurus showed up. It's just someone that you may feel like you still have to like keep an eye on and play it safe with. Um, and you're nervous to like let some sort of guard come down. Maybe you've been burned before. <clears throat> Let's take a look at this person's intentions. They're really good at manifesting, whether they know the term or not. They're really good at manifesting what they want. They could really work well with energy. Or they are someone also very spiritual. Why the magician? Ace of Cups, dang, and the Ten of Pentacles. They intend to have it all with you. Ten of Pentacles is you combine your resources, we'll combine mine, together we will be in luxury, Ten of Pentacles. You know, you guys both may have really good jobs. Um, and if not, this person intends to build an empire with the person that they're gonna settle down with. Someone here might work from home. Um, but with the Ace of Cups clarifying the magician, this is the energy of intending to create love, true love. This person wants true love. 
their connections start off of the initial chemistry that they share with someone or the physical attraction that they share with someone. They really like to be around someone to see how you, you guys are together in the same room, the same space, before they can be like, all right, you know what, this may work out. And then they pursue it romantically. <clears throat> this is someone that wants it all. This is someone that when they give to someone, they're picturing backyard barbecues, they're, they're picturing traveling, they're picturing, you know, friends coming together to really support the relationship. They're picturing you introduced to their parents, vice versa, or whatever the case may be. This person doesn't commit to a lot of people. This is one of those rare opportunities. This person rarely gets into commitments is what I'm getting off of this person, Aries, or that's you. Or actually, it could be the both of you. Someone here rarely ever gets into relationships. They're usually single. They're usually fine on their own, not used to being in a partnership. So maybe a partnership scares someone here. Why is the fool in the challenge, please? Or oh, rewind. Why is the fool in the challenge position, please? Left out a keyword there. Why the fool? Why the fool? You may worry that you're being foolish. Oh, the two of wands and justice and the five of pentacles. You see the two of wands, which is Aries energy. Again, you're all over this reading. Um, the two of wands is the energy of seeing a door open up to you, AKA ace of wands, and really trying to figure out if you're ready to walk through that door or to just slam that door shut and say, nope, not my opportunity, I'm not gonna take it. So with the two of wands being in the challenge position, I've got an Aries that's like, I don't know if I should walk through that door, but I really, really want to walk through that door. I don't know what the frick to do. I'm just going to stand here and just like sip on my coffee and not move. You know, I'm scared that I'm not going to get what I want in this situation. I'm scared I'm going to get screwed over. Justice card. Because with the justice card in the challenge position, I've reversed the energy. You're worried that this is all going to not play out in your favor, that it's going to backfire, or someone is coming in with smoke and mirrors or there's just a fear of something just biting you in the butt. And I feel like that fear could be abandonment, giving your heart to someone and then finding out that they never intended to give you theirs and you being ghosted, abandoned, rejected for the next best thing, the next person that tickles their fancy. And there's that fear of that four of wands. Or if some of you already have connected with this person and things kind of went in a different direction at one point or another, and now in April, the opportunity is presenting itself again, you're thinking about that last opportunity where you gave to this person or they gave to you and it didn't work out. I see someone outside of your home waiting for you to come outside. All right, picture you at your front door and this person's on the outside of that front door saying, Aries, come out and play. And you're like, oh, is this a trap? Is this person gonna screw me over? You know, <clears throat> so that's the challenge this month. Wondering if an opportunity is too good to be true. So this person's behavior towards you throughout April Aries is the chariot. Why the chariot, why the chariot? And it's the friggin' chariot. <laughs> someone here might live at a distance from you. Um, someone that's very successful, very independent, nine of pentacles, makes a lot of money. Could be someone in the spotlight with that star energy. Could be an Aquarius or a Leo or someone that's fulfilling their 10th house um, career right now and maybe still in the educational aspect of their career with the ninth house energy here with Virgo. Um, that Virgo's not that house, but you know what I mean. This is Virgo's minor arcana and this is reminding me of the ninth house um interesting interesting someone definitely here is kind of stepping outside of their normal realm of persons that they date or people that they come in contact with someone here is stepping out of their comfort zone and it looks like um someone's like f it let's just do this i'm seeing a lot of travel someone wants someone to hop in that chariot with them Picking someone up for a date. Huh. Give me another card on that. Could be a Cancerian or someone with a big heart. Ooh, someone that not too long ago went through a bad breakup. Okay, or you did. Someone here went through a bad time of their life. You know what? It doesn't even have to relate to an actual breakup. 
What this could be telling me is either you or this person, someone here may have had a rough upbringing or a rough um, get up and go start of adulting and got to see the worst in people, got to see the ugly in people or got to see rock bottom and is now pulling themselves out from rock bottom and now is getting their confidence back, getting you know things working out in their favor and is scared to be vulnerable with another to, to feel that, scared to feel that feeling again of betrayal or rock bottom or seeing the ugly in people. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm definitely getting. Someone does not wanna ever feel that feeling again and is scared, really scared. Interesting. Hmm. It's feeling like it's you, Aries, that's scared. Um, only because I, I definitely feel like you're holding back here. Not letting someone fully in. Why is that Page of Cups here? Page of Wands, Knight of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. So I feel like throughout April, Aries, you're going to be doing a lot of daydreaming about this person and vice versa, and that's where you're going to feel the most safest. It's like you feel safer just daydreaming about somebody than the actual act of letting them know that you daydream about them or vice versa. I'm definitely feeling like you and this person, sparks are flying in April. There's a lot of... You know, if you haven't been intimate with this person in a sexual way, there's a lot of sexual tension, a lot of desire to go to that next level. And if you already have been intimate with this person, um, there's this fear of whether or not that's where it stops. Why is Aries' advice to Seven of Pentacles? The Queen of Wands, Two of Cups, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So your advice is to really maintain your confidence at this time and... Trust that you'll just know what is the right thing to do. You are connecting with someone very important to you, Two of Cups. This could be someone that was put on your path for a specific reason. Um, and really, really evaluate whether or not this person is someone that you could really see yourself building a long-term life with, or if this is someone that you feel like is meant to be a leaf in your life where they flow in and then flow out and not actually meant to be a part of your family tree. Let's clarify that Four of Wands. Now, if you're in a complicated situation where you and somebody aren't talking to each other or things are just really weird, I will pull their hidden feelings for you at the end of this read, which is in a moment. Why the Four of Wands? The Four of Pentacles and the Magician. So the Four of Pentacles and the Magician is definitely showing me that someone here is manifesting this relationship, and now that it's here, someone's playing it safe. Four of Pentacles is right here. It's like... You know, what this reminds me of is ordering a pizza delivery and then when the pizza guy arrives, you're staring at the front door saying you may not enter. It's like, man, you called me in. You asked for me. Now that I'm here, you're not even going to open up the door or grab what I'm offering. You know, it's like, why would you ask the universe to bring you in a partner and then this person or opportunity comes in and you're like, mm, I don't know about this. Well, let's get your person's hidden message. For zodiac signs that came in this reading today, Aries, I have a lot of fire. So Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, I have Cancerian energy strongly. Gemini's here. Virgo's here. Um, that's the main ones. But Oh, and Libra. Don't worry about the zodiac signs too much. All right. It's all about the energy that we embody at the time we're dealing with something. You know, I've got very little air in my chart. Actually, no. I change that. I do have a lot of air. I, I think I have a little bit of earth. So I have very little earth in my chart, but there's times where I'm like more of an earth sign than anything, depending on the situation. Let's rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, Aries, the link to my website can be found in the description box below this video. Also, I go live every weekend with the all signs their feelings for you spread where you see my face. I interact with you live on air um, and I dive into your person's feelings for the next seven days. I'll link down below in the description box the most recent one I did. Okay. I have to be in contact with you again. I miss you too much. I kept up a facade to the world, but you always saw past that into my soul. I knew you were right, but I couldn't admit it to myself or you. I still feel your energy around me. I never believed in these things before. I do now. All right, that was for you, Aries. Just whatever's going on with your love life. Spend your birthday season smiling until your cheeks hurt. 
Smile until your cheeks hurt. All right. I love you. Take care. Bye.